Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the VP Residence Display Categories as tabs widget. We showcase this widget in our main demo in homepage version 2. You can see it here. The widget will display the category names and below the elements added for each category. Next, I will show how to use this widget on homepage or any other page that you need. I will add the widget on this page. Page. First, I will edit the page with Elementor. I have already created the section where the widget will go. The next step is to look for the widget and add it in the page. This is the widget. I will add it with drag and drop. Before setting the widget, I will show where admin will manage the property categories. I will go to admin and under properties, you will find the property categories, which are categories type city, neighborhood, county, state, features and amenities and property status. For each category, you will be able to list elements that will be relevant for your business. For example, for city, here you will be able to add your cities. The same for type, categories and the other elements. I will go back to the Elementor editor. You will have category as the first tab. Under you will see the elements added for this category. I will add the rest of the categories. To show how this works, I will add all categories, but you can add only the ones that you want to display on home page. So next I will add action categories. You will have the option to add a label that will show in the page. For this I will add type. I will add the next element, which will be states. I will select county state. As label, I will add states. I will add the next tab and I will select cities. I will add a label as well. For the next one, I will select neighborhood. As label, I will add areas. I will also add features and amenities. As label, I will add features and for the last category I will select status and add status as label. Below the content you will have these two options. The first one will allow you to choose the number of elements per row for each category. I will select three. You can see the change but you can add the number that you want between one and six. Also you will have this option hide terms with no listings. This means that in this list the categories that do not have a property assigned will not show. I will switch it to no and now you see that the categories with zero properties will show as well. I am done with the content section. Next, I will go to style section and change the design elements for this widget. I will start with the settings for the tabs. You will have the option to change alignment. You can set it to left, center, all right, I will set it to left. Next, you'll have the option to add a tab item content padding. I will add values here. Next, you will be able to add the top item margin. I will not add a value here. You will also be able to change the top item border radius. I will not change anything here. And next, you will be able to change typography for the top items. Next, you will be able to change the background color for each top. I will add the color code here. I will also change the tab font color. I will change the tab item active background color. I will change the tab item font color. And here you can change the tab item typography. You can change the font size, the font weight and make other settings. I will just change the line height. Next, I will go to the tab content settings. Here you will make settings for the content of each tab. First, I will add tab content padding values. You will also be able to add tab content margins. Also, you can set the list element margin values and you will be able to set the tab content border radius. Next, I will change the colors. I will change the color for the term font color. You will have the option to change item background color and term second row font color. You will have the option to change the term typography. I will change the font family, the font size. 
and the line height. Next, I will change the second row typography. I will change the font family. I will change the font size, the font weight, and add a line height. You will also have the options to change box shadow settings if you want. These are the settings for the widget design elements. In advanced section, you will be able to change general layout settings and other settings. I am done with the widget settings. I will save the changes made. I will go back to home page. I will refresh the page. And here I can see the section that I just created. And you will be able to see the elements added for each property category. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching. And do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.